Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching my video, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell. So guys, thank you also my subscribers. Thank you my viewers for always stopping by. I have a um, little contribution to make in this video and also to pass an information as well. So, um, uh, you know that there's an adage that says that there is no smoke without fire. In every smoke, there is fire in there. So, what I'm about to say now will not be a thing of surprise to a lot of us, especially if you have been following the story of Queen Naomi and Oni of Ife. So, Oni of uh, Queen Naomi, um, according to allegedly people that knows her a lot, said that Queen Naomi was deceived into being married into the palace of the Oni of Ife. Don't get uncomfortable with what I, I just said. Queen Naomi was deceived, according to people that knows her well, that are granting a kind of discussion and a kind of interview about what they know about the marriage of Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi. Queen Naomi got into the marriage with Oni of Ife with the aspect that she is going to be the one close to his heart. That no other dist distractions apart from him. You know that a lot of people were, were saying that why will Queen Naomi, as a child of God as she is, as a prophetess, go and marry somebody, a traditionalist that has been married before and uh, uh, his marital life is not, um, is not good, as in is not um, for, uh, fulfilling. Let me clear this um, statement. Queen Naomi is like every other person. There are women that have been married two or three times. And it's not because of one marriage fails. You're not going to marry again. And it's not because of a man marries the first wife and it will not uh, work out. Does not mean that if he marries the second one, he will not be comfortable. Some men has married the first wife. The marriage did not work out. They go ahead and marry the second wife. It did not work out. They even continue getting married again until they find the one that, that, that is their soulmate. So people that are saying that Queen Naomi shouldn't have married the Oni of Ife. Let me say that oh, Queen Naomi married out of love and af uh, affection, the way I saw the whole thing. And the way I have been going through their, um, their, 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 their gist. Queen Naomi did not uh, marry Oni of Ife because of uh, anything. Okay, because of the way she left the palace, she left without nothing. Many people will say that she has packed her bag filled up with uh, Oni's money. You are entitled to your own opinion. So, I think Queen Naomi married Oni of Ife with the knowledge that she is going to be his queen because Queen Naomi is the only legitimate wife of the Oni of Ife. The other ones that he married, we all know the story. Queen Naomi, even she, she said it that she is the only legitimate wife of the Oni of Ife. But the problem is that Oni of Ife has a lot of women in his life which will have parading themselves in the palace of the Oni of Ife. And we, we are not giving regard to Queen Naomi. Let's pinch ourselves. You know, when you pinch yourself, you know how painful it is. Then you will think twice if you want to pinch another person. Let, um, if I am a woman and there's some things I cannot take. Even if Queen Naomi married, is, a, is a married to the owner of Ife as a third or fourth wife, she did not meet any woman there. Oni of Ife has separated from his wives before he met Queen Naomi. So Queen Naomi was not the reason why he separated from his ex-wives. So what Queen Naomi is asking for is just a little regard and respect as a wife of a king and as a legitimate wife of a king and someone that bears him a child. Because she said that, according to people that knows her, said that Oni of Ife made Queen Naomi a promise and I'm sure that that promise was the reason why this lady married Oni of Ife. And that promise is because of women, your affairs with women. The story of you and women is not pleasant to the ear. That is what I am about to come to now. 
And secondly, Queen Naomi felt more comfortable when she had a son for the honor of Ife. You know, she'll be like, I have gotten a son for him. And this, my child, is a, leg is a legitimate son to him. Let's not forget that Oni of Ife has a daughter before. Yes. I'm not saying that the daughter is a bastard or something. I'm not saying that Oni of Ife's daughter is a, is a bastard. But what I'm saying about legitimacy is that Oni of Ife did not marry the first, the mother of his um, daughter. They were, it was just a product of a friendship when they were still young. Okay, so what I mean by legitimacy now is that he married Queen Naomi and they gave birth to a son legitimately. Not, 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 uh, not that he is not the father of the, his first daughter. No. So now, Queen Naomi gave birth to a son in the palace of the Oni of Ife and she has this fulfillment in her heart that she has a son for him so she will get her respect. At least now she has already uh, cleaned the ground for herself. But she did not expect what she saw. She did not expect what she saw. She did not expect what she was seeing in the palace. It was as if it was that time that the whole thing started backfiring on her. It was as if it was that time that the, the, the smoke, the fire was burning. The respect was gone. Everything was just um, scattered. Yeah, people that cannot even talk to her normally are talking to her anyhow. There was a lot of things that were going on in the palace. The Onis uh, side chicks in that, that, uh, that was said to fill the palace, I don't know. But I heard that uh, Onis uh, concubines are living in the palace of the Oni of Ife. Which one is going to take that? Queen Naomi could not even take all this. Um, sorry, please, if you're hearing my baby's voice in the in the background, she's even far from me. But you know how 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 the um, children <laughs> behaves. So Oni of Ife is not even willing to make amends. He's exposing this little girl that he married into this kind of atmosphere. Even if he cannot do it for Queen Naomi, why not to do it that he is starting a family with this lady? She has given him a son and they will have more children. And let's not forget that if Oni of Ife wants to have more wives, he is free. And according to Queen Naomi, she told him that instead of keeping all these women around you to, be, to embarrass me and to neglect me, why not accept marrying the ones you can marry and let them go? Why will you be keeping so many girls in the palace where we share as a family? It's like a slap on the face. Sometimes, where even the ones that she encounters, cyber, cyber, um, the cyber bullies that she en encounters, some of his girlfriends are always attacking her online, calling her names, ca calling her a small girl, a gold digger. That she married only of effect because she wanted to dig gold. She wants to wreck only, she married only of effect because of his money. So I, I am not, I'm now beginning to see things that made this lady to leave her husband's house the way she did. When we are judging, we are not saying that Queen Naomi is righteous, so nobody is righteous. But all these things will make any woman want to think twice about her, her marriage. Within me, I'm praying for her to come back to her home, give her marriage a second chance. That is if only of Ife will play his own part. By letting some, you know, some distractions out of the way. You understand? So what I'm saying now is that if only of if I can do that, then this marriage is going to work. Thank you guys for watching my video to this extent. I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.